Hello, welcome back to Melanie. Melanie time. Melanie time. Oh. We're on chapter five of Melanie game. Yeah, best thing. Best and game. Honey is very happy. I am very happy because I'm in love with Melanie. Yeah, and I'm and... in love with Bon Bon. Oh. And I gave oh, Honey I the best compliment gonna... earlier. I was gonna say uh, that um, that I'm in love with you too. Yeah. But, I, but that will sound wrong because how can I be in love with two people at the same time? Mm, but I'm not a I'm not I'm not people. I'm veggie. But I said I'm in love with Melanie. But then I said I but I'm in love with veggie too. So that's two people, and it sounds wrong. But I'm not a person. I'm a vegetable. Oh. So, so it's okay. Yeah. So it's okay because I'm a vegetable. You can't have multiple vegetables. Um. Hmm. I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> I have a certain man called the God. <laughs> well, he's uh, he's very silly and very foolish. Dum -dum. And can't even Why? and can't even cook tea. He can cook tea. Well, I do it better. Dum -dum. How? Because I make tea every day, so I would know. Well, he also does tea every day. Well, I'm better anyways. Dum dum. Say who? Says veggie. And how are you better exactly? Um, because it tastes really good. Veggie, no. <laughs> I must say you guys are identical in that part because you guys both are obsessed with tea. Damn it. I don't wanna I mean, do the same. I said similar. Oh similar. I don't wanna be because, similar. I mean But you're both vegetables. You have to be friends with another vegetable. No, I'm racist against garlics. But you stop. Peace <laughs> up, onion. Onion, I please mean... love. <laughs> onion, please love. What's up? Please be nice to other vegetables. I don't <laughs> like racist onions. That sounds onion. very cute. <laughs> oh, be, what do you mean? Be, be nice. Be nice to other vegetables. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's 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 what I think. Okay. Okay. The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Uh, yeah, she sure did. I totally forgot about that. I'm gonna need a refresh on what happened last trial. Okay, you want me? Can yes. you explain? Yes, baby. Um, we're investigating the corpse that blew up, and we're talking about before it blew up. The corpse of Mukuru Ikasaba, right? Yeah, for the Secret 16 student. Mm -hmm. And we got intel from Kyoko's paper about her in general. And we confirmed that it's her for sure and not Kyoko because uh, Yasuhiro Hagakure or Hiro in church, uh, he was uh, saying that Kyoko was dead. Whoa. Even though she's right there. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I'm also healed, so I don't have a broken leg. Yeah, healed. I, yeah, I, my throat doesn't hurt, so I say I'm mainly, I'm mainly Yeah, you're healthy. feeling, you're feeling better, too, which is happy, me happy about that. Which is happy, <laughs> which is happy. <laughs> Good job, Dum Dum. Nice description. Which is happy. <laughs> Wait, not very cute way of saying it. it is very good. Yeah. Um, it is happy. Which is happy. Okay. Good job, love. Uh, okay, like I was saying, we confirmed that the corpse living in the garden also happened during 7.30 a.m. because of the sprinkler situation. It had a tarp wrapped around the body so it didn't get wet. Oh yeah. Because we found the tarp in the shed. So we confirmed about the time. Which makes us suspicious again because we don't have an alibi for a long time because we were sick. Or well, Makoto was sick. Okay, you. You were sick. More reasons that getting sick sucks. 
No, getting sick is nice because because yes. Because uh, <laughs> you get to be taken care of. That's a good enough reason. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> except <laughs> I, except I, I would take care of you all the time. So just, getting well, sick isn't too. an excuse. Yay. Me too. Okay, like I was saying, you were sick. My father was sick, but uh, and then he also have you have favorite image with the mask guy on the night. Oh yeah, the mask guy. Yeah, the that's her. Mask guy. Yeah, her. Let's say, and uh, she invaded your room while we were sick, but you haven't said that yet. Yep. Uh, and Kyoko also does not have an alibi because she was in secret rooms, but she won't also say that. Okay, that's mainly that's, that's, that's a good summary. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you for um, the fun. And also, uh, happy yeah? episode 20. We're on the 20th episode now. Yay. Happy episode 21. Yeah. <laughs> what is that goofy anniversary <laughs> introduction? Oh, by the way, happy and episode 20. Yeah. Good job, Dum Dum. Is it next gonna be happy episode 30? Mm hmm. If there are that many left. No, it's gonna drop to 100 because Veggie is that slow. Ah, so slow. Yeah, Veggie is very slow. Oh, yeah, and we're talking about wounds because she was stabbed once. Oh, yeah. In the heart. Yeah, ow. that's what it did. What do you mean, ow? Getting stabbed in the heart sounds painful. Um, <laughs> you know who to ask when it comes to getting stabbed? Wink. Uh, who? Starts with L, don't say the name. L? Oh. You know who? No? Yep. Yeah, you is know it, who got stabbed. Is it the funny army man? Yep. <laughs> he got stopped twice. Oh, yep. Yeah, I think he's fine. You know, he texted me today. Oh, good for you, Didi. <laughs> yeah, good for me very much. And, and his partner, wife. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Fun, okay. Many people texted me today, though. Don't ask. Including me. Veggie? Uh, Don't you text every day? Yes. So, what do you mean? And me? <laughs> like, veggies I'm, included? I'm included. Well, Tom Tom, isn't that obvious? Yeah, but I'm saying it anyways, because so, I'm, uh, I'm a goofy veggie. Yes, you are a goofy veggie. Then the knife. It was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. Boom. Exploring the body afterwards probably meant to do the same thing. Yeah, and Toko got, like, <laughs> she got really messed up from that explosion. Yeah, I feel bad for her in the moments, to yeah. be honest. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. How convenient. It was all the killers attempt to destroy all the evidence of their crime. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonate the body afterward. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but... What's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why did the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? If you bothered to put that lump of grey matter between the ears to you, you'd know the answer. Well, if you're so smart, then just tell me. Wow, that sounds like a veggie thing to say. <laughs> no, that's that's a bun way. A bun thing? That's okay. like, actually, no, it is a veggie thing, I'm sorry. Yeah, because I'm like, well, honey knows, so I want it, so just tell me. <laughs> no, the veggie be like, oh, someone keeps saying that, oh, if you're so, so smart, then do it. <laughs> oh, who says that? Is it me or you? I don't know. That sounds more like a bun thing. Yeah, told you yeah. bun thing, but veggie. Yeah, oh, that's bun a bun thing. thing. I'll tell you, I bet some unknown quantum particle caused an atomic level of spontaneous combustion, dude. 
I might be dumb, but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her we won't make any headway on this. There's only one explanation I can think of for the explosion. Well, I'm gonna need to look at all my uh, stuff again. Hey, do you have seven minutes? Oh yeah, don't worry, that's plenty. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, the chicken exploded. What did the Akia say? Uh... In the gym the entire night. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Where's... Do we have the Monokuma thing in our... In our uh, inventory? There should be another bomb yeah, that. that's been removed. It disappeared. Yeah, that. Yeah. Good job, Rick. Yay. After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? The fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? You know, I feel like I've seen something like it somewhere before. That's only natural, because of course... We saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. It's part of a bomb. Then the explosion was caused by the Monokuma bomb. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. And the only one who would benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. Hold on a second, Byakuya. What's the problem? Well, I just feel like we need to talk this through. We still don't know what actually killed Dumb the victim. Dumb. Think this through, not talk this through. Oh, well, we're gonna do both. Yeah, true. Very, very true, Reggie. Right? <laughs> That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let's continue the debate. It won't change the facts of the case regardless. Mm. Ah, we need to determine what ultimately killed the victim. I need to concentrate. And do get dum dum concentrate. And get down on the dance floor. Is this one of those like I gotta grab the points? We'll see, Reggie, please. Okay. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury is yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure, I guess. Uh, yeah, she was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't because of the knife, right? And there's only one more thing. Oh uh, yeah, according to the Marikuma file. That's gotta be it. There's evidence that shows she was hit in the back of her head. I think that's true. Well, I mean, I can look at the thing again. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were dead. They yeah, were, that's wrong, Dum Dum. <laughs> they were dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. Dum Dum, that was wrong. That was you. Really? The victims yeah. have suffered countless wounds across her entire body. The knife was covered up, and all those other wounds on her body weren't fresh, which only leaves. You want me to try that, Kitty Hun? Well, Dum Dum, where did they say in the mouth of my father that she was hitting the back of her head? Mm hmm. Hey, mm hmm. Veggie, where do you shoot? Veggie. Oh, 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 oh Veggie's, Veg re Veggie's really dumb today. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Why are you shooting at white text? Yeah, I I'm getting warmed Hello? up. Hello? Are you warmed up? Warmed up? Yeah. Oh, no, that's not it. Then... Biakia, I guess? I have no idea. Biakia, then? What, the, this one? The first one? No, the last one. Last one. Last one. Explosion. Because she said... Actually, no. Hold on. It was about several wounds, but how do we know that they have several wounds? Mm. Never mind. I'm confused. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to just make sure I remember how to... What is it? Select Truthful. That's with L1, I think. The victim's face select mm -hmm. what, if I, what if I do Explosion? 
Or does it have what? To, or does it have to be a Monokuma file? Reggie, I'd love to check, but I'm charging my phone. Okay, Katie. She was hit on the back of her head. Well, I said it's wrong because she wasn't. Yeah. Exploded body analysis. I don't think... Maybe I could do the, uh... Well, I can't select just anything. I have to select one of these. Yep. Only the golden one. What are you thinking about? Okay. The victim's fatal injury. What if, what? what if I do the... What if maybe, no, maybe it's the explosion? not the explosion. No? Okay. The and knife, maybe? The knife? Oh, oh. And you're slow. So slow. Well, well, it wasn't the explosion. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because she was already dead. Boom. What? Dun -dun. Why, why, did, why didn't it hit? Because you didn't shoot the knife. You, sh you shot the background. <laughs> I shot the background. Oops. Reggie, what are you doing? You're shooting that white text and now you're shooting at the background. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Reggie, what? No! Oh <laughs> 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 Why are you giggling? This is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just trying to shoot the knife. Okay. Not know, that thing actually. We know, we know that's not it either. <laughs> hmm, maybe I should look at a few of the other things. What about... Um... What knife? about? Hmm... Knife at the crime scene. Um. Hold on. Actually, you can read and uh, do something. Hmm. Yeah, we don't know exactly what killed them. Hmm. Well, it doesn't say the stab killed them, it just said the stab went through their body. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, and Veggie missed again. Hold on. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, apparently I missed again. Maybe I can have a hint, honey? I am. I am. Okay, I'm close to it. Boom. Okay, it's not that. Ooh. Maybe just tell me which one I should grab. If okay, can do. you just stop messing around then? Okay. Hmm. Oh, hold on. You need to absorb hit on the back of her head with. The fatal injury has yet to be determined. Okay, I'll give that a try. Hit on the head. Maybe this one. Here. And then... 
the one you that, the, the one at the top. At fatal the injury. Fatal injury. It's this one, I think. Yeah, this one. There we go. That's a very weird one. I don't get this. I I'm I'm too dumb to understand what they, why they wanted me to do that. <laughs> Lucro died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. I had the wounds all over the rest of her body. They didn't have anything to do with it. I mean, that's then that just brings me to my question: like, what, what did she get bonked on the head with? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe that uh maybe one of the things in the shed. I don't know. You know what? <laughs> I I I'm, I I know what happens, everything, but even I can't even say what's with the head thing because I forgot. I can't tell the fresh wounds or the, the not fresh wounds what they are, but I can't tell what about the head because I don't remember. <laughs> mm. Even honey is confused. I am. The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Oh! Oh no! Yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. I mean, they do matter, you know why? Why? <laughs> those fresh, those, those not fresh wounds actually killed her. That's why huh. I learned. Huh. I don't really get it, but okay. You'll know why. You'll know why. It's a very good discovery later on, I mean, but I'm you'll guessing, know why. I, mean, I don't know, I guess she had a disease or something. <laughs> Veggie, think. Multiple, several wounds that aren't fresh are the reason why she died. Yeah. Why would she have a disease then? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe probably something happened to her if she has several wounds. Mm, Deadly maybe, wounds. Maybe she got infected. Dumb dumb by what? Oh, well, whatever. Anyway. Reggie. Reggie. Yeah. Reggie. Yeah. Reggie. Is she? No. Think. Think, sweetie love. What infection gives you wounds? Please. Um. Poison? Why would poison give you <laughs> infection wounds? Come on. Well, I don't know. Like, maybe if you have, like, wounds and you pour poison on it, you die. <laughs> 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 I love you. You're so funny. You're so funny. Oh, I'm funny now. Yeah, you are. Yay. Veggie, come on. See, Veggie comes up with all the greatest answers. <laughs> yeah, because no one would think of such dumb things. Yep, but to me, anything... But, but... Any, to me, the stupidest ideas are the ones that end up being real. No, they're not. They never come true. Aww. When, when did you actually predict something, huh? Name one time. Um... Um... I don't know. Maybe he doesn't yeah, remember. Yeah, exactly, never. Because okay, I um, always help you. We're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. But then, what was the murder weapon? Exactly. The Monokuma. I'll say she was hit with a blunt object. But as thick as a metal pipe. Well, at least it's not the metal pipe falling sound effect. Where is he stuck? I bet it was that pickaxe, man. How is that even possible? If he hit someone with that, I'd cave their skull in, in completely. Uh, maybe they held the other way and hit her with the handle. What? No way, the balance would be off. off. You wouldn't be able to sway with any kind of power. I wouldn't mind testing on you if you want. Eh, uh, no thanks. I bet you just hit me with the mail and caught an accident. I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain up here, throw it on the ground, and spit on it. Yeah, <laughs> I feel the same way. Looks like we're on the same page this time. From what? I'm gonna do that to Reggie. I will tell you what will happen. Wow, thanks. Maybe wow, well, thanks. Is that all you've got to say? Veggie, wow, thanks. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, then how do you want to die? Um... Um... Yes to death, I guess. What? What? The what? Death? Kiss to death, you know. You get kissed so many times you just die. Is that possible? I don't know. Probably not. But it would be a nice way to die. Veggie, I'ma do that then. Wah, 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 you're dead. <laughs> Veggie's dead now. I killed him with the kitty. Hey, thank you, hon. Really? Mm hmm. Love, love. I love you. Okay, I'm sorry. Seriously? We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We already know? I knew we could count on you, Master. So how was it, dude? Go ahead and tell the Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon. Mm. <sighs> the real murder weapon? You need help? Um, let me look first. Um... A knife, maybe? No. No. The arrows? Yes. Feature? I mean, well, yes. I mean, that's all we really have. Yeah, I got one heart back. Miracle was hit in the back of the head, the head with something. And that's what killed her. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. And how? That's the culprit attacked Makuro with? Indeed, there's no doubt about it. I completely forgot about the arrows, honestly. Yep. Okay, now think. She had several wounds. Hmm. So, how. And she. The murder weapon was arrows, so. Does that make you think of something? Is there, a, is there a bow somewhere in here? Okay, that think about it though. Does that make remind you of something? Mm, what needles maybe? She was her the murder weapon were those arrows. And she was hit several times. So she got pelted with a bunch of arrows? Yep. Hmm. Pretty Does violent. that remind you? Is that does that remind you of something? Uh not really, no. Who oh, who well think harder. Did someone die a similar death? Who died from arrows? I've never seen arrows before. Or are being like brutally like healed? Um, like, like, you know, no, pinched over and stuff. No, you're gonna have to remind me. Think at the beginning. At the beginning of what? The game. Someone who got uh, stabbed several times. Pierced by arrows. Oh. You talking about Junko? Yep. I didn't really think no. of those as arrows. Uh, no, I think no. You have to keep that in mind because that is a very important clue. Why? Hmm. But uh, I can't spoil. I can't spoil you the reason why I told you or make you think about Junko now. I see. Are you sure? That sounds kind of weird. Hey, how dare you backtalk, Master? You have no right. <laughs> I'm not backtalking anything. I'm just saying what I think. I don't blame Hina for doubting it, because there's one more thing about that weapon. One more secret. Yeah, make your argument again. Uh, I mean, I feel like the duct tape would have to come in or handy. Or the arrows. Or the arrows themselves. Because we're talking about the weapon. Hmm. A titanium arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Well, that seems fine. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Well, because of the Makuma fell. It said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe, right? 
It seems like it never would be just too soon. Talking about the monster. Yeah, no, right. Wow, thanks, thanks for the uh, addition to conversation, Toko. If it was just that titanium arrow, it wouldn't be nearly thick enough. Which is why they used... Oh, okay, use the tape. Yeah. I mean, tape is Wait. thick. Wait. The one that she sang. Boom. Fuck. Why is it shrinking like that? Because <laughs> you're too slow. Oh, uh, so slow. So slow again. <laughs> Alright. But you're hitting the background back then. Yeah, I'm hitting the background. Look at this dumb fish, please. Look what is he doing. Boom. There you go. I mean, it was kind of sus that that one was uh, shrinking like that, too. Okay, Vedric. You're right. Just the one arrow would have been. Three times. Yeah, yeah, one more. One more. One arrow would have been too weak. That's why the killer used another weapon. Another weapon? Multiple arrows. Inside the dojo locker, we also found a balled up wad of duct tape. The killer probably uses duct tape to bind multiple arrows together. Bundling them together using the duct tape would, make, would easily create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. Yeah, that kind of looks like, um... What is that thing called? Like, oh yeah, a quiver of arrows. Yeah. It looks like a quiver. And that's exactly what the killer did. It's similar to uh, Aesop's fable about the bundle of sticks. I have never heard of that before. <laughs> You have heard or haven't? I haven't heard of that. <laughs> One stick is weak, but put them together and they become strong. It's meant to teach cooperation. Dang, that's harsh, man. How is it harsh? Were you even listening? Anyways, that explains the murder weapon. As for the culprit, it is that stash the weapon in the dojo locker. It was you, Kyoko. I've never been to the dojo. No, that's, that's, that's a, a lie. That, that's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> you were with me. Oh, you absolutely have. How can you say that with such confidence? Because we have proof, of course, don't we, Makoto? Oh, um... What's the matter? Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. The death of us all, remember? Of course I remember. Then show us. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. Mm -hmm. Damn, I haven't seen a single thing. I have evidence? Evidence that Kyoko went to the dojo? It must be connected to the dojo locker. What, the, um... What block key? Yep. I knew that would come into play. The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here, the key to the dojo locker. Yeah, because didn't we have that in her room? Yes. And how does that prove anything? Because I found it in your room. It was in my room? Don't bother trying to play dumb. The key is just the final piece of the puzzle. Your non-existent alibi, your clear motive, your attempts to frame Makoto for the crime. This all proves that you're the true culprit. You can't explain this way, so just give up. Hold on a second. Not this again. You really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? No, it's not that I want to defend her, it's just... There's one more thing I need to ask her. Mm -hmm. Kyoko, I want, to tell, I want you to tell me something. Oh, it's not the black mask guy this time. Yeah. Last night, you were in my room, weren't you? Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just... I was just protecting you. What? She was protecting me? Then does that mean she... Oh. <laughs> yeah, my favorite it's image your is favorite back. picture! <laughs> yeah! She knew I was being attacked. And she came to my rescue. Could that be when? Which would mean that Kyoko... She killed someone for me? That's enough. The time for idle chatter's over. A verdict is close at hand. 
Wait. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I know you're stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone. I didn't do it. Can you tell me I'm wrong? I should know. What? Yaga should know better than anyone? What does that mean? It <laughs> mean it means you gotta get back on the dance floor, buddy. When the body was found. Okay. Oh. You should absorb by the way, that's a fit. Oh I should? Okay. Yep. Those words you just spoke, what do you mean? Exactly what I said. Not, I'm not the killer. Not the killer. Well, let me absorb it, bruh. No! You should understand more bad more than anyone. Yeah, I can. What are you hiding? Mister would never hide something from me. There's proof that you that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? He you said this something that's here earlier. He said I hid the evidence of my crime with Dojo Walker. He then left the lost me in my own room, correct? But could I really have done that? Hmm, I got an idea. Wait, yes. Kyoko gave her room key to Yaki, right? Which would mean... Okay, I'm gonna try, um... I'm gonna try sucking up the one that Yaki had. It was like something about him being the killer. There's proof. Yeah, maybe that. And what does she what does she say here? Let me try this. Fuck. The opposite. Oh, I was supposed to do the opposite? Okay. Yep. Uh I guess that means I was right. I just did it in yeah, I just sure, did backwards. Thank you. Yeah, sure, dumb. Oh uh, yeah, mm -hmm. sure, thank you. Whoop! Got it. Okay. You were on the right track. Yay! The locker key in my own room. Cute. Okay. Thank you, Hooray! Please. There's proof. There you go. Yeah! I'm screaming! If I'm right, Shoko wouldn't have been able to get into a room. Huh? Why not? Because she had given her room key to Byakia. I see, so that's what you meant. And if I had the key to your room... Then obviously I had no way of putting in. Without my room key, I could not have possibly put the lock in the oh, room shit. myself. So, Yaki framed Kyoko? Am I wrong? It would appear not. Then you're finally starting to understand. Hmm. No, that's not actually true. There was a clear contradiction in what Kyoko just told us. An obvious lie. But this... This just isn't like her. To try and save herself with such a desperate lie. Does she really feel that threatened? Because she's the killer? Or is it something else? Was there some deeper meaning and hidden in what Kyoko said earlier? People for me and I lie here. Mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. So that trap the mastermind has laid for us. Mastermind's trap? The mastermind's trying to trap Kyoko? But what if that's not really true? What can I do? What should I do? What oh, I need I? to say something very important. What's up, Bun Bun? This is actually the ending of the trail. And the you have the good trap. ending. Good ending and the bad ending. So it, you need to think if you want to choose the good ending or the bad ending. Okay. Did you do good ending? Why are you saving them then? Well, in case I get one of the endings. Or else do you want me to tell you which one is right or wrong? Okay. So, should I go for the bad ending or the good ending? The mastermind's trap? The victim was Mukuro? 
And Kyoko killed her? What does Kyoko really know? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie. I'm the only one who knows it's a lie. I'm the only one who can expose it. But who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? Do you even know trap? what was the lie? Not really. Oh, okay. Is it how do you know she's lying? <laughs> I don't think she's lying. <laughs> dumb dumb. What? She did it though. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, uh oh. Am I wrong? What do I do? I have to decide right here and now whether or not to expose Kyoko's Okay, here it is. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> no, I need, I need to Let see what- Let it go? I want to see what oh. happens when I say run away. No, running away isn't going to solve anything. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let it go. Run away again! <laughs> no! Okay. Okay, let it go or pursue the lie. Well, which one gives the bad ending? Which one gives the good ending? But I, what, what is gonna ruin it? You, I, you thought you don't wanna. Let's see. I made my decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no well, way she would kill someone. You picked the, the proper ending. Oh, the good. good ending. There has to be something secret here. Something that has to do with the Mastermind's trap that Kyoko mentioned. So wait, if I just pick like... If I pick the top one, would the game just end? <laughs> no. Oh. Does it like change? If you... It changes who gets killed. Oh, interesting. So. You'll see, though. There has to be some secrets here. Something that has to do with the maximized traffic Kyoko mentioned. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? So wait, does that mean that case 6 plays out differently? Depending on what you pick? It's... Jeez. You're fucking stupid. Just play, and then okay. I'll tell you. Okay. I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the blocker key in her room. There was someone else. But who else could have been? Gee, I wonder who. I mean, Yaka had a room key, right? You, what are you trying to imply? But of course, I have an alibi from night time on. I was with you guys the entire time. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone, or put the key in Kyoko's room. Well, someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have had that key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. What? It had to be Makoto, right? I don't see any other option. Wait a second, you got it all wrong. Let's think about it one more time. There's gotta be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side, dude? First of all, there's something awful with this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? Hmm. I'm thinking. Mukuro, we didn't even know it existed, suddenly shows up dead, and then we're thrown into a trial. And Kyoko even says the trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why this has to be... Okay, time's up. You guys fucking suck. You're so slow. What? Time's up. Class trial's all over. Everyone can stop talking now. What? Time's up? Well, that's a new sprite for him. What do you mean, during the time's up? There's no time's up since when, have we? It's because you were late, so we had to push back the start time. So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. Voting time? Well, that was an anticlimactic end. Well, I think you prefer having this than starting over. True. Well, I mean, you say so. You 69 say. points! Idiot. More. Now, who will be chosen as the black end? Will you make the right choice, or the dreadfully wrong one? Wait, hey, hold on. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be?
You're voting for me. I'm the guilty one. Yes. Woo! Veggie's dying. What? Very good. You think I'm the killer? Sorry, man. Yeah, sorry. It's all your fault. Everyone, you're wrong. You've got it all wrong. I didn't do it. Good job, everyone. Good job. Yeah, they got it right. No, I know that's not true. No, this makes any sense. This whole trial doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. It's the same as always, just like all the other class trials. Now I'm gonna end it the same way. It's time for your heart-pounding, positively thrilling punishment. Wait, why do I? Mm. Kyoko. I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. Kyoko? Let's give it everything we got. It's punishment time. Yeah. yeah. Boop. Now Makoto is found guilty. Because he sucks. I like this one. This execution. Makoto gets executed? Yep. Yeah, look at my funny TV in the background. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm just dead. Yep. He's screwed. Like that. After school lesson! Oh god, make it stop already. It is very stressful though. <laughs> Pay attention, dumbass! Hurry up already! Alter Ego! Yep. He saved you. Holy shit, no way! I need just help. <laughs> oh, well that was a lame class! <laughs> I'm going into hell now! Why do you know why it's a good ending? Oh, I see. Huh? Huh? What's this? What's going on? Hey, what was that? Uh, yeah, I had to be, dude. Alter Ego. Alter Ego? Is there some stupid virus from that stupid guy? He must have planted it when he invaded my network. Damn it all the hell, I don't believe this. <laughs> it seems you finally made a miscalculation. No, you miscalculated from the very beginning. Ooh, that was an interesting ending. What was that? What I'm saying is, you shouldn't have understood it thus. Hmm, why are you talking like you already won? I barely felt a thing. It was a pinch, an itch. That stupid virus is gone now, got it? And so is Makoto. Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you're never gonna see him again. To waste away in a garbage strewn pit. In a way, that's an even better special punishment. <laughs> but it's still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the entire world. <laughs> Is he gone, dude? Hey, Kyoko, what's the meaning of all this? Just what the hell's going on? It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. Huh? No, it's the mastermind that's in, in sorry. 
I just don't know what that means. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot what ensnared means. Let's find out. And Kitty sent a photo. Whoa. And Kitty sent a photo. Logic 100. <laughs> You're just clinging and making excuses. And Bun Bun posted a picture of her on the iPad. Very cute. I approve. And the drink. And the drink. The uh, lovely monster. Mm. Uh, ensnared means catch in or as in a trap. So it's trap related. Okay. Why are you drinking? Oh, why not drink mine? Wink. Veggie. Okay, Veggie. Okay. What are you talking about? You'll understand soon enough. Very soon indeed. The massive high school towers all over are the buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Oosh. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Isn't this like just the intro? <laughs> yep. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in? is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students, was me. Ugh. Man, I'm so fucking tired. What? Where am I? What? Where I, am I? I woke up with my head resting on what? top of a what am I? hardwood desk. What? What? What am I? What? 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 <laughs> My body <laughs> felt heavy. What? What am I? Yes, Katie. It would be weird if me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, what? but... What? Not me. Yes. What was I doing asleep here just now? <laughs> there wasn't any classroom I'd ever been in before. I'm what sorry. What the heck's I'm going so on? Sorry. Well, I'm you're, so well, sorry. Well, you're cute for teasing. What? What am I? <laughs> <laughs> Finally. What? Are you gonna say it again? Well, where am I? I can finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again. And then... I was awake. Or was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare. No, this isn't a dream. I could tell, because the stench eating my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. Wow, it sounds like, uh... It, sounds like it smells like Smash Bros players in here. That's you. What? Not veggie. Mm, okay, how do you smell like, please? Um... Like... Um... Um, like... Hmm... Veggie. I smell like apple and cinnamon. Why so specific? I, I don't know, I was just- I was, I was making up something. Dum Dum, how do you smell like? Gentleman question. Mmm, I don't know. I, um, I mean, I use, uh, like, a minty, cool what? deodorant. Cool. I like mint. Yeah, so I probably smell like mint. Like you. Yay. I like it. I was in a vast, I dark cavern with like the barest hint flowers. of light sleeping in. Oh, honey smells like flowers. Very good, I approve. <laughs> Trash was piled high across the area. This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. Yeah, it's just it's just um Star Wars 4, you know? Heck of a situation what to find myself Star in. Star Wars 4? What are you talking about? Yeah, it's Star Wars, ep it's Star Wars Episode 4, where they go into the garbage Betty, pit. shut the what? hell up, dude. <laughs> I'm a motorcycle. <laughs> Heck of a situation what? to find myself in. But you what is going on? <laughs> I don't know. Why you giggle like that? I thought it was just the beginning of my problems. 
Veggie, what is uh, going on? Uh, Veggie is talking and playing and laying with cutie, hon. Are you laying with me? Oh, I yeah, mean, my I am. Fresh, my, I am fresh. I just lay down, you know that? Yeah, just. yeah, lays down with you. Can we cuddle, please? Mm-hmm, Am I fresh bald? Oh, well. It's fresh and clean with all plushy. Hooray. Was I going to be stuck in here until I wasted away and die? No, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. I remembered all too well what happened. Alterigo what saved he... me. I have a question. What? How did he see that? Mm. How did he know Alter Ego says him? He was looking forward because he was too scared to look back. Maybe maybe he just has a feeling that Alter Ego saved him. Like, he doesn't actually know. He just says, like, Oh man, I just know Alter Ego had to have saved me. Oh no, maybe he heard Monokuma, yo. Maybe. And he used yeah. up the last little bit of his strength to do it. So I can't give up now. For myself and for my friend. And with that... My pursuit of survival began. First up was to start looking for a way out of here. Okay, well, the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, examine. Is that an airplane? How'd something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit? Uh, there's a few other things I can look at here. This is a desk. It's probably the one that fell down here with me. And there's a funny Monokuma thing over there. That's a rocket and a tank. I better not think too much about what? what I'm seeing down now here. Now that I'm thinking about it, those that tank and stuff is gonna be used in future execution. Do oh, that. Oh neat. Rattle rattle, it's yeah, locked. Yeah. Rattle rattle. No matter how many times I pushed up or pulled or kicked at all, it doesn't budge. Getting out of here isn't gonna be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, I better fade to black. And then have a PNG of me on the screen. Yes. I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. Well, that was pointless, too. Next, I searched for some water. How can I be so sure which liquids I can drink? Which ones are an all-around bad idea? Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides. That's still not enough reason to give up because... Because I'm still alive! As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was... Fade to black again. <laughs> oh, go to sleep. <laughs> that's that's <fake. laughs> My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not exactly. It was a billboard. It, it was a blessing. Veggie's oh. bill. Bun Bun blessing. fell out of the sky? Yeah. Oh, very cute. Go crunch. What the? The strange sound pierced my silent its isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched a pile of garbage jostled and form an <laughs> odd shape. Did something fall down here? Something fell up from up above. What could it have been? Yes, my favorite part of Danganronpa, the garbage examination section. Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? Carefully stretched my hand out towards whatever it is that tumbled down here with me. A giant piece a of giant trash? giant piece of trash? Rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It was Kyoko, and she has a funny piece of ramen That's me. on her head. That's me. That is why Kyoko is me, because she has ramen on her head. Come Yay. on, Kyoko. Oh, honey has ramen on her head. Yes, yeah, see? I'm destined to, Very be, cute. to have ramen on my head. Yay. Sorry. <laughs> but she's so happy now. Mm-hmm. Oh, why are you so happy? Because Cutie has ramen on her head. Yeah. Very yeah, good. Yeah, I do. Veggie, I told you I'm gonna fall from the sky. Yeah. You, you, you thought I was joking? Hmm? Yeah, I was. Because I'm the blessing, I'm your savior. Mm -hmm. See? You are a See? blessing. We're, we're destined to be with each other. I'm Yay. gonna help you. I'm gonna work. 
Ok. Ok, hon. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. I'm so, that was cute. I did not expect that. This place smells awful. Yeah, okay. that, that is a very fun thing to say. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Cleaning mess, but smell also. <laughs> you look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? Dump dump, is that how you're gonna act? I'm gonna save you a minute. What are you doing here? <laughs> That's rude. I would like, oh, sorry, I'm gonna leave then. Bye. <laughs> you're trying to like reverse time and then fly back out. Yeah, I'm gonna do what? that actually. <laughs> Isn't it obvious I'm here to help you? I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Uh, yeah, you, got, dum -dum. You, got, you got a bit of garbage in your hair. Dum Dum is totally <laughs> gonna say that. Like, um, or something. <laughs> she gave her head a quick, sharp mm -hmm. shake to get rid of the trash and then face me again. No, where'd the ramen go? I ate it, don't worry. Uh, okay, very good. <laughs> First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Oh my god, it's Bun Buns. Yeah, see? I told yeah. you, it's me. Thank you. I snatched the bread and water she was holding out for me. <laughs> wow. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way towards my stomach. Ooh, that really hit the spot. Now I got all the energy I need to keep going. So, you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good at. Also, you know, I, I know you just hug me so very much tight once you see me in mm -hmm. a place like this. Yep. Wouldn't you? Yep. I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for you. What would Veggie do? I would be very happy to see Bun Bun. That accurate, but what would you do, huh? I would hug the Bun Bun. Very cute. See? Hold you. I know Veggie very well. Yeah. At least best. Best of the very one. Yeah, best bun. Yeah, best Veggie. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. You wanna talk, talk some more? To me. But Kyoko, yeah? why'd you come to rescue me? To pay a debt or no, to atone. Atone? During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew that you knew that I knew? Yes. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. I abandoned you. Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. I mean, should I say what would be the other ending? Oh uh, yeah, what's the other ending? He would die. I mean, we could always look at that. But you know, not now. Not now? Okay. Not now. Well, maybe later then. When you do chapter 6, then yes. Okay, good idea. Spoiler alert, there is chapter 6. I, I, I thought you wouldn't mean, no, I probably knew, but yeah, there is chapter I 6. I have a feeling there is a chapter 6. Yep. But um, that would be the other ending. So, basically, you sacrifice your own life for her. And that's, that's what she meant, because if, if you expose her life, which was... Let me remind myself what the lie was. She said she had no other way to get the key, which she did because she obviously had to find that key somewhere, you know? So obviously didn't she, she did that on purpose. Didn't she have like the master key that unlocks every door in the school? Yeah. Is that what the, uh, the lie was? Yeah. I mean, she found the key. Oh. And she put, the, put that key on purpose there anyway. Okay, I now I get it. Yep, so she did it on purpose. Anyway. But, and the fact that she gave you the paper with Mukuru, anyway, 
is also because she tried to help you. Yeah. But yeah, she definitely did a lot in the crime. She basically exposed the lie. Because if, if she didn't help you, then you wouldn't know who she was. Mokuro. And if you wouldn't know who Mokuro is, you wouldn't go to chapter 6, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And don't worry, you will know everything about Mokuro in chapter 6. And Hooray. you will know why I wanted you to remind yourself of Junko. Junko's dead to be exact. Okay, baby. With the arrows, because it is important to understand fully what the hell happened. Because if you wouldn't know, you'd, you'd be very lost in chapter 6. But yeah, I don't know how far we'll get to lost. chapter 6. Yeah, because I'd have to explain everything from scratch again, and I don't want to do that all the damn time. So I can. I can do half of the explanation of everything, you know? Yeah, definitely. Because I want I want you to play through this as much as possible without my help, but so far it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind though. I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. Don't worry. Dum dum, of course you don't mind because <laughs> you're getting the help. Yay. Yay. Okay, he dum gets dum. Help. Veggie, did you help me? No. You can't even help me. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Honey, what can I help you with? Give me some comfort or affection. Okay, sure, rappies. Mama, yes, good mommy. baby. Mama, thank you. Love you. Love ya. Well, listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but it was a reason that I had to survive no matter the cost. Why did you have to survive? I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Oh yeah, also you wouldn't know this part, which is also very important. Mm. The reason I have to survive is that so that I can do what I had came to do to this school. Or I what? mixed up the wording. I'm sorry, but I had to. I made up my mind to come to Hope Speak Academy for one very important reason. So you have some reason for coming to Hope Speak? <laughs> I know. I was expecting her to say precisely. Because she usually says precisely, but damn it, we'll get mm -hmm. wrong. That's right, at least I did once. Once? Until recently I forgot what it was. You forgot? But that's... I have no memory of what my purpose was. No memory? But that's impossible. Amnesia? Hmm. Then is it really true? You lost your memory? You remember, Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at this school? First thing? You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted, and when I woke up, I was trapped here. I fainted too, and when I woke up... I know there's a strange feeling of separation within myself. And disconnected. Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems so much too convenient. Are you saying that you think you're, you lost your memories because... I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the master. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? It's only one reason I can come up with. I guess her ability was that good or something. Yep. 
because of my purpose and my ability. Somehow they would interfere with the mastermind's plans. So the mastermind just stole them from you? And it could also, it could also mean Somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of the school and the mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? If I did that and we all worked as one, the mastermind would have noticed right away. Was Oh, I'm just making sure I'm still recording. Okay, good, I am. There's always this chance that the mastermind is actually one of us. What? Well, don't make too big of a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? A mastermind? One of us? If she believes that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. That being said, that was um, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? Because among everyone, you were least likely to be the mastermind. <laughs> that was just intuition, but... I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I understand. <laughs> Look, I... Veggie predicted. <laughs> it's Veggie again. I should understand everything. My goal Veggie's isn't to get out of here. <laughs> it's to Veggie's stay stop. here. Uh, it's just like the dream I had before, but... Oh, you come on, one more time, please. <laughs> Why'd that happen? Are you okay? Yoki? <laughs> yeah, you key. Yeah, I'm well, I am. Well, 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 uh, oh, veggie. oh, yeah. It's nothing. Veggie. Hi, me. Veggie. Are you okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm good, baby. Thank you. It well, is nothing, okay. right? Even now, I still trust you, you know. It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. I know I never asked you for your help right away, so I understand if you're not convinced. Hmm, honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. You like it? Yeah, I love it. You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. So how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at the least... I was finally able to recall my purpose, my ability. So I have a question. Yes? What happens if you just press A and not even bother doing the reaction thing? Uh, you just skip by uh, the main dialogue and you just have to talk to them again. Oh, well that's, that's kind of lame. Yeah. You, you mentioned your ability. My ability, what everyone should have known me for. Oh yeah, so if she died, you wouldn't know oh, that well, she's shit. the ultimate detective. The ultimate detective? Like you have, uh, you know, ultimate lucky stu student, she's the ultimate detective. Which is, I think it was obvious from the start because she investigated like bodies with no problem she also knew all of the damn secrets when it came to uh you know death scenes and crimes you yeah, know cutie. the whole box thing like she was very 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 knowledgeable about that wasn't that about yeah and the reason i came to hope speak academy it was someone I had to find here in the school. You had to find someone? Who? Well... It was the headmaster of Hulkspeak Academy. The headmaster? Why'd you want to find the headmaster? 
because he's my father. Oh shit. What? I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope Speak. Damn, really? Yoko's dad? Yep. Is Hope Speak's that's why headmaster? She, that's why she says she's related to this school and oh. this whole crime. And that explains when all Tarigo told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I'll find a way. Eh? No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter the cost. Gilbert, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Mary had to come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. It makes sense. Well, listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear, since there is no misunderstanding. I said that his master wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said that of what I felt based on what I've seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. What did you see in there? The room had to be ransacked. What does that mean, please? It means like, uh... It means like they made a mess of the place. I guess. Yeah. But I want that better. <laughs> you want like chaos explanation? Is like a well, like mess or what? Or like destroyed? It means way. like it means yeah. like they they broke in and like fucked up the place. So destroyed. Yeah. Thank you, veggie sweetheart. Oh, Love. Yeah, that's the thanks for the wonder. The shells were a mess, the death drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything has had been in there. You mean the mastermind, right? That was my assumption, yes, and to confirm my assumption suspicion. I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. Uh, this is some kind of map? It's the layout of the entirety of Hope Speak I had me. Aw, oh, rad blueprints. I found it in the headmaster along with Mokura's profile on that key. The map showed that the second floor was home to that number of rooms meant for facility use. Mm, faculty use. Not facility. Faculty, you, you stupid veggie. Oh, stupid veggie. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm a dumb vegetable. Yay. Oh, but, 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 but facility is a word. Yeah, it is. But faculty is also a word. And what's the difference? Mm. Let, me, let me remind myself just what faculty means. Good job, dum dum. <laughs> Uh, Basically, bitch, he doesn't know that word exists. Mm -hmm. Faculty is the term for academic staff at the institution of education. Isn't that like the um, administration area? Yeah. And what, a facility? Mm. Isn't that also a room? Facility definition. Um... A place or piece of equipment provided for a particular purpose? No, that's not it. Um, but it said a place. So. A facility is like a building. Yeah. Well, I told you it's a dumb place. Hmm. Okay. Then it is similar. Okay. They're similar, <laughs> but they're not the exact same. Well, yet so don't. Shame me for misreading then. Oh, I'm not gonna it's blame not the end pack. Hmm. Yeah, you did, dum dum. Mm. When you. Well, because I love teasing you. Yeah. Oh, Veggie, you misread like five times. You know, I found it. You can tease me more. Yeah, sure. Um. <laughs> like, like, ooh, where am I? Like, what? Where am I? 
Wow, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Yeah, or veggie, oh or veggie me. trying to pronounce January. Veggie, why do you say jam? There's mm. no jam in January. Are you dumb? Why is jam banned? I love jam. What? Veggie, I think you love jam too much because there's no jam in January. Are you dumb? Oh. Are you that sleepy? <laughs> I guess so. Veggie, wake um, up, please. Okay, I'm wake awake. Up. Are you? Yeah, I'm awake. Why are you awake? Gonna... No, I'm gonna fall asleep in a few seconds again. No, no, I'm more, more rapids. Mama? Ah, what's so cool. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. I figured the headmaster would have some kind of library room there. I assumed that if that were the true, a room would likely hold more clues, so I went to check. And that's when I found a number. I remember that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. You went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there? Once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorm didn't have any family where I saw more meters. So what was it like? That part of the school, I mean. Wait. So she went into many rooms that had cameras? No, they didn't have any so cameras. She... No, before she went to the school. Before? I mean, because maybe. She... So how did she not get caught then? <laughs> well, because remember, Monokuma was out of condition, so I don't think she was being monitored at the time. Okay, but assuming the headmaster and, and the mastermind exist, how did they not know this? Mm, maybe she'll explain that. It's hard to describe, all I can say is... The moment I saw it, I realized... Whatever is going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. What do you mean? Oh. I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself, and I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. Sounds like it must be important and really ominous. Of course, once I got to the swimming floor, which is why I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. It had to do with Mufuri Kisaba, doesn't it? Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means... Everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then who did kill her? What I can say for sure is that the masterminds are directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukurukusa was to get me killed. Yep, get that's why. That's why if you pick the the other option, it will be theoretically the correct ending of the mastermind ending. Oh, I see. But again, uh, either I show you a bit what happens if you pick her, or I you replay it. But I don't I, know which I can one. Replay Okay. And plus, I love Kyoko. I don't want her to die. Why do you love her? Well, because she reminds me of you. That's very cute. Mm -hmm. And also because yeah. I, I think she's, you know, the most trustworthy character in this whole game, so... It would suck You're to right. lose her. You're right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I st uh, don't you love Biafia then? Because he's also kind of trustworthy. I mean, I actually, I mean, I really like him, even though he's kind of a dickhead. But there's something, that, there's some, this, there's something charming about that's, that. That's, that's, that's why mainly people like him anyway. Why? Because he's an like asshole? he's <laughs> he's so cunty, but in a good way, you know. <laughs> okay. Like you know, he helps you even even despite his rude comment and everything. Like that's, I like that. 
honestly, I think I just grew up to to liking him because when I was younger, I hated him, but now I actually like him. Oh, you like him? Yeah. Oh, good, because I I always liked him. Is it? Well. I mean, I didn't really know what to think of him on the first case, but once we started, like, doing investigations with him, I, 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 I kind of liked him a lot. You know, he be, kind of became, oh, yeah. like, he kind of became, like, the op- he kind of became, like, a second Kyoko, but instead of being, like, nice and kind and truthful, he's just, like, brash and, like, rude. <laughs> yeah. Which is really funny. It's a funny contrast to how Kyoko's investigations usually go. Well, I am like Kyoko, literally. I just tell you what's going on and I explain it to you in a nice and simple way so you understand. But yeah. he's, he's straight to it. Yeah. It's like, get the math. If you actually think about it, then you would have figured it out by now. So, yeah. What's the difference? Is someone patient versus impatient? <laughs> yeah, basically. Huh. Yeah. Kidding. I still that key and disappeared. I mean, retaliation. What the hell does that mean, please? Uh, it's like when you're countering back to someone. Wait, what? And yeah. how does that make sense here, in this sentence? Um, probably because you know they she stole the key and went away. Yeah, and then. And so, because they got annoyed that Kyoko was gone and stole the key, they wanted to get back at her or something, I guess? Isn't that just revenge? I mean, yeah, it basically means the same thing. You know, retaliation is, you know, like... It's revenge, but, like, immediate, you know? It's not, like, plotted out or anything. What do you mean? In well, I don't know. I well, here's, a, here's an example for retaliation, you know? Someone steals your sandwich, so then you immediately steal their, like, soda. You know, that's retaliation. <laughs> but revenge can be the same thing? It can. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. That was the point of the class trial. Zero out of ten, worst class trial. They almost killed Bun Bun. <laughs> Veggie, Veggie just already. It was. <laughs> Veggie about to beat the beat the shit out of the headmaster now, because he tried to kill Bun Bun. Yep. I know you will. I tr I trust you. I believe in you. Yay. The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because I mean, yeah. of the school regulations? No, because they would actually blow up the entire cover, you know? Like, if, if he actually went and stepped in to personally kill her, it would just blow up the cover on who the hell the mastermind is or the headmaster. You're right. We don't think he wants that. Mm-hmm. Well, on the regulations, but I think it's more of the image that he has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because they speculated if the headmaster even exists, so if he did that, then he would really love that he does exist. So, there's that. Exactly. If they made no restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Free Academy after this session. The mastermind is a. How do I read that word? Adamant? Adamant. Adamant about following the rules. And with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the cross trial to do it. But isn't that illegal? I mean, in the regulation, I mean. Why would it be illegal? Because... It... Because it's breaking the rules. The, the execution needs to be done fairly. That's, but the, the that's thing, a rule? That's a co the, yeah, the culprit has to die. Mm -hmm. 
Why does it say that? No, because the it says that the cold price, yeah. This one? That the the, the mm. that the culprit has to die, you know. Oh yeah. See? With the execution why so how how is someone who's innocent gets executed? Some dummy literally skips to it. <laughs> what which number was it? One of those numbers with the execution. If the guilty party is not exposed, they alone will graduate and all the remaining ex students will be executed. Well, that's one thing. If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. I haven't looked at these in a while. Yeah, there's swell regulations now. Well, yeah, but see? If she didn't kill them, she isn't the culprit, she isn't the blackened. Because she isn't. Yeah, that's kind of weird. If it, even Monokuma said that you are in the black end because he knew you didn't kill them. You know how in previous trials he's like, yes, the black end is that person. Yeah. But he didn't say that with you because there is no black end. Exactly. Maybe because the corpse is that the, the dead person wasn't actually killed. Because they were killed a long time ago. Big surprise. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, no one actually cared when they actually died. Because you can't care them. But think, it said old wounds. So they've been killed a very long time ago. If they're very old. That makes sense. So... Basically, to put this simply for you, they grabbed a random dead body, put it under cover, and they made up a whole crime scene, even though the dead, dead is just a corpse that's dead a long time ago. Well, that's kind of messed up. It is very messed up. Especially if in later in chapter 6, you will actually discover who the hell Mukuri Kusaba was in like precisely you know she was an army girl she was a secret person the 16th student and you will learn why she was secret and she was in from the start in the beginning because you started as 15 but it was 16 yeah so it's not that suspicious mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, like I've been saying, she, uh, oh, I can't spoil a lot. I'm trying my best to explain this. But basically, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, so basically, the headmaster threw a random body and tried to frame Yoko so she would die. And it I'm not gonna spoil because you're gonna play the other ending. It's very gruesome, by the way. But if you, if you actually uh, kill her, then the whole ending is different. Oh, wow. Don't you want this? You want discover the truth, basically, if you kill her, and that's basically what he did. Want. Oh, I see. So we need Kyoko to get the truth out. Yep. Because it makes sense, the headmaster is her father. Yeah. So she would know. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trap to do it, which is what I said. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules? That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. There's one more thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Ikumuku Ikusaba. What's that? There was a point where Mikumuko may not have become the victim. It could have been you, Makoto. I could have become the victim? You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... T My favorite image is back during the night? Yep. 
I can hear them, you know? The footsteps of the god of death. What? I can hear the god of death has he moves. Who's the god of death? Ah, Bill's natural dress me into cases just like this. Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell. And I saw a white shadow across the corridor. Okay, I need to explain. This character that tried to kill you is not Makuru. Uh -huh. Makuru was dead already. So basically, there's a very high chance the Heart Master actually tried to kill you themselves. Oh shit. Yep. And they would frame you anyway. I mean, they would frame Kill Clement. So she would die. And you would die. Damn, that would suck. So, uh, yeah. Everyone would be screwed, basically. But she saved you from death. And you saved her from death, so Yay. you can't actually call it. <laughs> but that's a very important thing to remember. Murku was already dead at that point. Gotcha. So, yeah. I gave chase right away as I followed it. I saw the shadow go into your room. Oh, yeah, you know, my favorite image is back. Yep, this is like the. 20th time they showed this the complete. most overused image in the game. But you and me overuse, you love it every time it shows up. Come I on. do. <laughs> then why me overuse? You should be glad. It's like, Hooray. that's my favorite picture being used. That's my favorite Perfect. picture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I ran into your room and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. I mean, it does make sense, because if you think about it, um, their hands don't look the same as Mukuru Kasaba, who's dead. You I just noticed that? No, I, I, I did notice that. <laughs> but, but you uh, never said it, why? I never, I never mentioned it, but it, I, I just want to point it out now, because she had the tattoo on her hand, but this, whatever this is, Yeah, then have... look at their right hand, which is the one holding the knife, they have no tattoo. Yeah. And also, they don't have red nails. <laughs> mm-hmm. They wouldn't go that lazy, please. It wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but I'll let you... <laughs> Did you what's so damn funny about this pic? It's the smile that gets me. Yep. Whoever the mouse was silent was, they ended up dead. And their murder was disguised and the dojo he would wound up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind, and I'm not told to use the milk. That's trial to eliminate me. The master or mastermind did that to, to kill you, by the way. Oh shit, so all this would mean that whoever killed Mukuru is also the mastermind, right? Uh, yes. My answer is yes. <laughs> the killer who killed Mukuru is the mastermind. Gotcha. <laughs> but she just listened. Mm hmm, me listen. I, I, I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. That's really bad, if true. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but that's, that's the... That's why the Buku is the... I claim is the saddest. And I feel the bad, the worst for her. Because she she truly died on her death. Damn. Wait, but that doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? You're right, that is a contradiction. Oh. But maybe just think logically. If Mukuru was a secret student, they could have done that behind the scenes. Hmm. 
How how would you know? Because you didn't even know crew existed. True. So they could have killed her anyway. Whenever they wanted. Sally. And it's not just my crew. He needed a class trash to kill me, but soon ready to kill you in your room. Everything we do is a contradiction. So what does it all mean? Well, because Kyoko would wasn't in her room because she wasn't allowed to, so that's why they could have done do kill and kill you without hassle because they rather not do a, such a hassle to kill you, you know? Yeah. But with, since Kyoko is a very strong foe they went against, then they would have to do a hassle. It means that the Masima is the one who's been con cornered. Huh? Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the Mastermind's identity. The identity of the other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Muko was the ultimate despair and that she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate story is just one person. It's not? If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about... What happened a year ago? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Tragedy? I was responsible for that. Is there the ultimate despair? A despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then they're... Make no mistake. They're the root of the evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Oh shit. The end. <laughs> it looks like the surviving students did not change at all. Well, be glad. Yeah. You got the Dream Island Rocket. Now I'm gonna that's save. A, that's for our future uh, execution. Gotcha. <laughs> the ultimate despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. And more like more like Team Despair. Those same people who put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now. Right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Wanakuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Of course I do. Thank god. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with this. And I can open any door in the school, right? That's right. And you should be able to use it on that door, right? Oh, okay. I guess that's all she has to say now. Well then go to that dumb door then. I got the whip to the door. Hey Kyoko, we can use that key of yours to open this door, right? Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it and slid into the keyhole. And then... <laughs> click, click, it doesn't work. Yes, it opened. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Yeah, finally. I've been staring at trash for the past half we an hour. We both hands. <laughs> Yay. Finally. We were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief. Because the real fight had just begun. Yep. Chapter 6. Ultimate pain. Ultimate suffering. Ultimate despair. Ultimate execution. Ultimate death. 
deadly life. <laughs> After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it ended. Wow, it was just like Snake Eater. We climbed into the darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far down. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off of it. Uh, so Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. A speech bubble with my face inside of it. <laughs> you, <stop. laughs> you said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? Ever since I can remember. I came from a long line of detectives. Detective work is written in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family has always been seen it that way. Then is your family famous? Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Because we take pride in it. Pride? The detectives neither bright light nor shadow. We pre represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and do to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a con conscious effort to conceal our existence. Conscious effort? It's kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Mm, pride. So that explains... The computer... Before I came here... When... Before I came here, when was looking up info about the school online? I never saw anything about her. That has to be a typo. Basically, <laughs> you're just dumb. Okay. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. And yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? In order to enter how speak, I had to repeat myself to the school. I didn't know it was not something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. The reason you gave up that pride, the reason you'd go so far to enter Hope's Peak, it was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. So I'm confused. Is her dad, like, a bad person then? I mean, think. He's the headmaster of the school. Hmm. Is I it... mean, actually, think. How he's been known to be a headmaster for a long time then, and the school wasn't a killing, freaking uh, asylum a year ago. Maybe, maybe someone's holding her dad hostage. Well, the mastermind then. Yeah, the mastermind's holding her dad hostage. Well, the, well we said the mastermind is the ultimate despair, which is true, yeah. I will say. The mastermind is indeed a bad person, but I wouldn't say headmaster is, all, or is also the innocent because he also is in part of this isn't he? I mean, he's a headmaster for a reason. Hmm, I see. Reconnect? I have absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. There's nothing I want to talk about with my father about. 
There's something I want to say to him, though. What? But what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? I want to stay for all times with him. Sever? <laughs> the last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head star of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future. But he had no interest in de detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. That's rude of him. Veggie, if you do that, I will forever hate you. Yeah, why would I do that, though? Like, imagine if we had a kid, and I'm gonna die, and you just leave the kid alone. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's very rude, like I said. It's like disrespecting me, 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 in a way. Because if the kid is our kid, right? Mm -hmm. So it's me and you. So by abandoning a kid like that, you you're disrespecting me on a very yeah. much beyond level. Yeah, exactly. And and you also show that you hate yourself that much. Does that make sense? Yeah, pretty much. And I haven't thought about this ever like like that, or even once. But I like it. I like that. He went to my grandfather and they had a huge argument and young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad Macado, wanted to take you with him. My father just please shut up. Like what? I think she knows better than him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's not really adding much to the convo. Like Oh, I'm sure he had a reason to run away and leave you behind. <laughs> Please. If you said that to me, I would slap you so damn hard. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I had gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that. What she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative. More emotional. Yeah, that's the face it's of emotion right him. there. Well, she had her eyes closed, that is emotional. That is, yeah. I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. Not a lot you want in my position, I say, right? But it's not true. There's one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. Really? The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me, even to this day. His shadow has been following me in my entire life, I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt you forgot me years ago. But your family? Just cut him out like that. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. 
Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Is love really enough to call someone public? No, that's I like. I have that question like that sometimes. Hmm. Fully connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that. I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. Good job, Thomas. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Looks like this is it, Luigi. I'm not Luigi, I'm gonna slap you. And you're <laughs> gonna fall to the bottom. Wow, ah, he just dies. Very good. That's why you didn't say for calling me Luigi. On the other side of this door, Hope Speak is waiting for us. We're back. Well, uh, that hatch on the ground near the trash room. I'm pretty sure that's where we will come out. I looked earlier, so we should open with without much trouble. Yeah, how nasty would it be if it didn't lock and you're just stuck at the top there? Oh. Well, well here goes nothing. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Jesus. Execution similar to that. Oh. I reached my right Except hand and pushed against the hatch. Except it's probably the one of the most painful executions ever. I mean, you keep saying that. I'll let you know there are a few few executions that really move me and that's one of them. Oh. The hatch and there are many. So. There are many that move me. Oh we're back. I'll be honest. Looks like we're back. Why do you say that twice? And once was, was more emotional than the other? Well the first time was me and the second time was Makoto saying it. Who jumped them though? But I can't believe how long that water was. I'm exhausted. Thanks, I have to say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of here. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Yoko, thank you. I never would have gone out there without you. No thanks, necessary. I was just returning their favor. Let's talk. So now what do we do? I'm just glad I didn't die, of course, but if the Mastermind finds out, and I'm worried about you too, you helped me, so they might... You're worried? Yeah, of course. Let's, let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? Let's ask all my co a problem with you escaping. Yeah, that will show them. Wait, that's... If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time to until we found out, and then it's not like we can run away. Ah, she said that. She pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. It's not called giving up. Because the masterminds do want that in in start. Masterminds ensnared. You said something like that before. What does it mean? The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation to Mukuru's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was? If we can't talk to Mukuru, we can't confirm it. It'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. Hmm. I'm still a little... No, I'm super uneasy about this. But we don't really have a choice, do we? Oh well, that should be in the gym. Let's get going. We can't wait. Why Ooh. would he be in the gym at such a time? Dum dum! Dum dum, that's a long route. Here we go. It will be this way, and then through here. Whoop! And then the gym is over here. Well, oh. I think you went over there. Hello, okay. gym. Bam, bam, bam. All right. 
There you go. Hey, 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 hey! Kyoko, I don't mind so much. But Makoto's supposed to be dead. What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? You were supposed to be punished. Didn't Kyoko help you? So what if I did it? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again, and this time I won't have leave anything the chance. Well, uh, I did get punished, so my punishment's over already. <laughs> Kyoko? I wanna feel you have to. What? And before you do, let me just say one thing. If you execute my photo, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? I lose? You explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. I was supposed to be chosen at the black and I'm then executed, right? Hey, what are you talking about? But then my coach just overlooked my life, your plan came crashing down. The result of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. Because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like that. And in response to that unexplained development, he reacted by proclaiming Makoto the block and then trying to execute him. He made a choice out of inspiration. No, more than that. He must have realized that Makoto would refuse to manipulate for the stress to you as well. But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An activity that would throw a wreck, so to speak, in your previous execution match, you know. Alter ego. You never imagined the possibility of a being that come to our aid even after you get killed. It. No, here is the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill the girl, you did. To execute Makoto for it would surely be a violation of the rules, which I know you love so much. If the block is closed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Hmm, and that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the black and is mean, not Makoto? Yeah, Marakuma, better get the ec punishment equipment ready for yourself. <laughs> and you can prove this, right? No, I can't. Just say it like that? What is this, a comedy routine? To make such bold claims without a shred of evidence. I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee you'll find some. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? If Makoto really was a killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared the fourth life, feared another execution, he couldn't have tried to run and hide. When I've been gripped by the spirit you love, you so love to inspire. But here we are, confronted with nothing but hope in our hearts. And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? It's not you I'm trying to convince. If you were to exude my girl now, everyone out there watching this will be extremely displeased. Huh? Imagine what everyone out there would think if you took kill Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because of what we said is extremely right. The spirit can never kill hope. Mm -mm. Of course, he can say we just make this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. Now we have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. 
<laughs> if you want your analogy script for a square, then I suggest you take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? To do the cross trial over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown, one final battle between hope and despair. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial? One last showdown, in other words? This would be our chance to expose the true identity of Muguro's killer, of the Mastermind themselves. But what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Very interesting indeed. Barry? Oh, it's getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. So, time for bear jokes. Now, what you. Wait, wrong voice. Now, what, you, ah, what you suggested huh? might be possible, it would certainly make for one honey of a climax. Does that mean you accept? If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I am prepared to agree to your terms. Will you hope will your hope win out, or will my despair claim your victory? Let's have one final grizzly showdown. He agreed. Then we still have a shot at this. But this is the long awaited climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end. So for this final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? That's right, every last mystery that's pawing around the school. If you can do that, then that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you. That's what we've been trying to do all along. Okay, well good, then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Mukuro's death and solve the mysteries of this school, then you win! But if you can't do all that... We'll all play this execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement! When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. When we will uncover every last truth, I will do the ultimate despair reveal your own despair. I honestly can't believe how this all turned out. But before we get started, I wanted to clarify one more thing. You remember the rule? When the one student kills another, that's when the class trial is held. I remember that, for sure. So what? I just want to confirm that this is what you said, right? And it's a true statement. <laughs> you don't have to be suspicious. I said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything's based on the school regulations. And having a trial for Makuro is no exception to that. Huh? Makuro's trial is no exception? Then it's part of the regulations? Which would have to mean that whoever killed Mukuro. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know. But okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants. All of them high school students. And the only people who, to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Are you telling the truth? Why do you go all quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm done talking. I got nothing left to say to you. So get lost, would ya? Why so mad, bro? He seems emotionally unstable. Leave me alone! Get out of here! Okay, I'm going. I just... You are really gonna let me go? Hmm, I don't even care anymore. You're only gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. Come on, my cousin, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as he walked away, just like how I like to cling to Bibi. 
Yay. And just like that, we are out of the gym. And just like that, Veggie wants to take a drink. I also drinking. <laughs> So slow. I want to enjoy it though. Oh, you are. Can I, I come up? Yeah, that's pretty good. I can hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still have my life, and we still had a chance. Oh, I mean, you did get executed though. Yeah, I got <laughs> executed, so I'm dead. I'm just back from the dead because I'm that much of a boss. Overall, yes, things I turned agree. out way better than expected. Yay, hun. Yay, hun. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. No, oh, thank you, Jesse. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. But still, I'm glad they worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? Probably because the mastermind is just that confident that we won't find everything. Um, the mastermind is the best character anyway, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? They had no choice but to accept. Huh? So because of that one moment that the mastermind let down their guard, like I said. So when was it that the mastermind let their guard down? I wasn't there to hear myself, but do you remember what the mastermind said? They said they had hijacked the airways to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. And what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. I didn't know how the mastermind was able to do it. But I think of it another way. It must have been some reason they had to do something like that. Some, something so difficult. Reason? They had to show the world something, no matter the cost, us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? The Mastermind have been, has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all the rules on regulation were inside to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? Prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? The outside world has a name for for the students of Hope Speak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other, sing it in despair. Yeah, that pretty much sums up Dang and Rob on two words. Hope and despair. That's three words. <laughs> hope, despair. Hope and despair. Well, and is not a word. That doesn't count. It is a word. No. It counts. No. Yes. Mm -mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Veggie, <laughs> if what? you go to a word, word document and write hope and despair, it counts three words, not two. Well, whatever, Katie. I just want to be cheeky. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. And if you write hope on this, my hope to spare, you would have to add on a comma, which also counts as soon as that word's also three. Ha ha. Oh man. See, I, I just outsmarted you. You failed. Okay, ha, smarty, ha. hun. Yes. The mastermind wants to in the world see that to try and prove that point to spare is better than hope. That's your goal, as the ultimate spirit. Well then, who's the ultimate hope? What? Uh, 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 theoretically, the protagonist. I guess I'm the ultimate hope. Mm-hmm. They wanted to prove that despair is better than hope? 
but that that's ridiculous you're right it is ridiculous completely irrational it's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would device. A group of fools only personal motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? I know how angry it must have made you, but yet... That same other reason what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. What? Because their goal is to broadcast the skill range the world. The Mathema has had to be more particular than it is reasonable about their own regulation. If the Mathema simply ignored the rules, it wouldn't have been a game, but a one tiger last letter. And it's just a lot how those who are watching this will have seen it. That's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves? That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate that what I'm doing, I would go like a second one of the revelations. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that's a jump scare. I got scared. Oh. Yeah, see? She, she's being raised with needles. Let's say, arrows. That's a very dramatic that's a nice way that's one of the worst feelings. Juko broke the rules, she was so she was punished, but in my case they couldn't have my a finger on me. Hmm, that's the second time they brought up Junko. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Junko is a very important character. I said that from the start. She's yeah, <laughs> but, but honestly, if you don't remember how she died, there you go. You, now you remember. <laughs> yeah, now you gotta remind her. And I, and I got scared, jump scared. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that execution moved me, that one. Because it's very, very gruesome and violent mm -hmm. and you'll hate it soon why but i can't tell you why you just hate it so instead they try to use a class raffle and all their proper rules to get me killed you begin a trial that didn't have a far answer it made me made me out to be the killer but even that didn't work yes thanks to you and due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. I attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when the fact that was, the, and then when that fact was exposed on my TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion. To prove the world that this is better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. But only do the most of my harm to have shown that they finally did their own regulations. Oh, that was a hunch, right? And you're still able to get the mastermind to accept your challenge. Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance because you believed in me. Another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I don't have the slightest clue. In the end, though, I couldn't approve any of it. It was just my reasoning. I simply was making a bet. But it looks like I got this right. This time, at least, I won the best. Hmm, she let out a quick sigh. Huh. I took it as a small sign of relief. To be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. Well, President Trump, the menorah is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, what did you say? Plus, if I showed my own uneasiness, I would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. Anyway, we can't just relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. 
or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no other option except to win. Before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the Mastermind. Work together with everyone. Is that really possible? Huh? Alright, right now we have to go find... We have to go find the others. They're probably in the dorm square somewhere. Shall we go? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure she didn't have any flavor text. Yeah, the map. Um... The main hall. So... I mean, they wouldn't be in the kitchen, obviously. So... It's night time. Let me go knock on one of their doors. I uh, like, um... Byakia. It's Byakia's room. Is he inside? Hey, wake up! I don't think he's here. Come on, we need to keep looking. Four. Um... Toko, Could are you, you home? you stop being so damn stupid? Toko, are you home? Toko! Come out! Okay. Uh, they're well, not- they're not in their rooms, then. Well, if Biafia's been gone, then, so is Toko. Are, are you guys in the laundry room? Don't dumb stop. It's not funny. Come on, find- find it funny. It's not funny, no. Okay. Um... Okay, maybe they are in the diner. That's usually where they meet up. And suddenly we were greeted with... Hey! You again. Is he broken? I suppose his emotion is to believe we should swim it. <laughs> Jeez, what the heck? However, oh, what was that was all about? Oh, I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Ah? Uh? Ah? Uh? Our friends! Is that Bakodo? You guys. It is! There's no way two days about it! It's Togolo! Huh? It's survived? Jeez, you're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I just asked to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. Wait, what's that smell? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks, dude. It's not color, he smells like a wet dog. Get away, shoo, shoo. Ah, <sighs> and then a flash, my tears dried up. Oh, great. I can't even shower. Dakota, what was it like hanging out in the spirit world, dude? I didn't go to the spirit world. Uh, did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss Cleo. No, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? Cleopatra? <laughs> I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. Do you realize why it is you escaped execution? It was Alter Ego. He saved my life. Not too many people can say they had their lives saved by a computer program. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. So what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Well, we figured that since the trial was over, we'd have access to new places again. And? No dice. All the rooms that were locked were before were still locked. Yeah, they did- I mean, they did say that the fifth floor is like the highest floor. 
there weren't any new areas. And where can we go find new clues? Um, I don't know. How about we use the fucking master key? Oh, you stink. Are you rotten? You rotten, psychotic, mentally, every way you can be rotten? Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. This smells so smelly. Oh, so smelly. You smell even worse than me. Way worse than me. I win. She seems happy for some reason. Probably some kind of bet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. There's no time to indulge and not ex extend a happy reunion. We need to explain it to everyone what happened with Malakuma. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably sit up because I'm, I'm kind of, my back kind of hurts. Um, though, how could your back hurt from laying? I don't know, I just kind of wanted to sit up for a little while. Explain. Okay, how long? How explain long? Explain what? I don't how know. Long? Not too long, like maybe 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna set up the timer for 20 minutes. Okay, silly hun. What do you mean, silly hun? Why are you so uh, mean to me, Betchi? I love you. You're beautiful. Betchi, why, are you so, why are you so mean to me? Did you say to me? Oh, I'm gonna open that window again. Dum dum. Oh, that's not nothing. Not one minute, and you already got up. Yeah, so. You said you gotta sit up. Yeah, yeah. Getting up isn't sitting up. Well, I wanted uh -huh. to... No, I, I went uh -huh. to open my window. Aha, uh -huh. not one minute. That's okay. part of the key light. But if the mastermind catches you, did you have a key light? Oh no. N not. Yes, I will know because you're dumb. Very dumb. Yay, me dumb. Dumb, dumb. Are you happy that you're dumb? I want to be. Because you're a chicuity. Well, you too. Yeah. That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Last class trial? We're going to redo Mookie's trial. What? Seriously? What's the point of redoing it? I could have killed her, right? No, I didn't do it. Like I keep telling you. My father isn't a killer. And of course it's not me or any of you. Uh, who is it? Well, she's saying it was all the work of the mastermind. What? You're saying the mastermind killed Mukuro? That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contract, right? By the mastermind. But I was put in trap in time and did what he had to do stop it. But his decision meant that he would have been the one to die. You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy. Just, you know. I executed Makoto, who wasn't a black kid. It's a clear violation of the square wig. See? That's what I said. I bet you oh, were surprised. Yeah, I bet you started searching through them regulations. I said it's a violation, but yeah, yeah, where is it? Where, 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 where? Yeah, yeah, where is it? Dum dum. I yeah. already showed you where. Come on. Okay, now it makes sense, Bun Bun. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. The rules state that only the black is to be secured and not to my broke their own rules. Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have to trial one more time. And the must I agree? Does that mean they really did break the rules? They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain leverage you needed, didn't you? Very observant of you. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you're referring to. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. Stupid ass. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. So knowing all this, what do we do now? 
It's about who killed Necro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind. But there's more to it than that, correct? Uh, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? We've been looking for a long time and we still don't know anything, right? You're probably against the right G, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Everyone? Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? I'm fine with when things the way they are. I'm fine living here forever, master. I meanwhile want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway, at this point the only way for you, us to survive is to unravel the truth. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But figure out who the mastermind is and how they killed Moku and all the school's mysteries. It's a pretty tough faking order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? Veggie, slow. Oh, oops. Slow book. I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. That's what I thought too at first. And then Michael gave us that little hint of this. Hint? Yeah, that this ties are the 16 students. Oh yeah, because one of them is the killer. Monokuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Well, let me remind you. One of them was hidden. Because we started with 15. Yep. Isn't that a good hint? Mm-hmm. Okay, what's your hint? Um... Well, obviously, uh... There's, I mean, I guess what I, what I could say then is that someone, like one of the students is the one pulling like the strings the whole time, I'm guessing. Yeah, I guess, I mean, let me think. Either the Murku was hidden or the killer. No other choice. Probably the killer. Yep. So that means Mokuro was disguised as someone then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Mokuro exactly. was disguised as someone? Veggie who died. Uh, a lot of people. Yeah, Mokuro included. Oh. I never thought about that. Yeah. That's a very big clue. So, I guess, like, Mokuro was a decoy this whole time and they were pretending to be someone else? Yes. Oh, interesting. That's why I find someone's death is saddest. Because Mercury really, really didn't deserve it. So, thing again. If we started with 15, the 16, supposedly, you said that is the killer. Because I asked you first, is the victim or the culprit that was hidden? You said the killer. So going by your logic, then the, the victim was within us. Yeah. So we need to find out the culprit. Yeah, we are discovering who the culprit is. Any questions? Mm, not really, Key. I'm just happy to figure out the mysteries. Well, it's gonna be hard though, kind of, because, uh, as you said, you have to work alone, because they don't actually think about this. You know this because you got it from me, and I know everything, 
myself. <laughs> and I'm helping you to make your life easier. Hey, Bon Bon the helper. Yeah. So, think about this. They don't know that the one of the people that were with them was actually Mirko this whole time. And they died ages ago, sadly. Wow. And the rotting corpse was somewhere. And uh, they used her body to frame Kyoko or Makoto in trial file. So they used a dead body. So. Oh, that's dirty. That's pretty interesting. It is interesting. And that means that that we just have to find the culprit well, you probably know who the culprit is already by me saying that do you know who the culprit is? Mm. I don't know, I guess we'll have to see, right? Reggie, do you know? Mm, I don't know I think who are we going against? Hmm? Who are we going against? The culprit? No. Who is our enemy? The mastermind? Yeah. Yeah. And how kind of, and why didn't you connect those two things? I don't know. The culprit is the mastermind. Yeah, they are. Going by your logic, of course. Mm -hmm. I never said what I said. I never said that the thing you think is correct it's to make things harder. Anyway. Yeah, baby. As it would be too easy then. So, again, let me recap. Going by your logic. We uh, already discovered Marco was dead ages ago and we just have to find out how she was killed and had uh, exposed the proof and exposed the culprit. That's all. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. Yeah. Huh? But why? If the mastermind is really the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma probably could have murdered Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. No, like I said, impossible. But according because to Monokuma, it... the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak Academy are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. Because one has to be behind the scenes all this time. Yeah. It, it can't be switched, unfortunately, because it would, it would be noticeable. So, so it's basically that I debunked my theory earlier as like a Mercury could be killed behind the scenes, which no, because it has to be to kill somebody. I need two people, not one, but only one person could be hit at a time. Yep. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So she, she, she was theoretically killed in front of everyone. I see. Then the mastermind is... There was were 15 of us in the main hall at that very beginning. I did Mercury and you, then you get to continue. So the mastermind would have to be one of them? And one of those 16 people we started out with. The only one still alive are the people standing right here. Need I continue, or do you get it now? You saying the mastermind is one of us? You can't be serious. Wait, we can't say that's for sure yet. Monokuma might have just said all that to confuse us. It's really a possibility, but well, only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. Yeah, I mean, 
They're an ultimate, right? The ultimate is first. There must be a high school. <laughs> well, yeah, because because obviously, Kitty, you should you you already know that that in what they're called in the Japanese version, right? What? Super high school level. What? And, come on, you know, you know that, right? Uh, what are you yapping about, no? What? In in the Japanese version of Danganronpa, it's not the ultimate despair, it would be super high school level despair. You're weird. Okay, I guess I'm the weirdo now. Yes. You, your yaps are unneeded, because you can't even read the Japanese version, so why you say yaps? Well, huh? that, that's just what the wiki said. Then, what is a high school even? Hmm? What is what is high schooler in Japanese? I don't know. Oh, is it Kalkosei or some other thing, huh? Maybe. You wouldn't know. Yeah, you're stupid, so don't even talk. Fine, fine, I'm not stupid. Love these snugglies. Yes, you are stupid. No, don't hold, talk. Hold me. What? Hold me then. What? Hold me, hun. Hold? Yay, snugglies. What's wrong? You called me stupid. Because you are. Oh yeah, now I'm sad. I'm sorry, Rage. You're not. Yay. Thank you for sharing this information. Yay. What do you mean, yay? I said thank you for sharing this information. You're, all, you're welcome, B. Misinformation? That ain't a good thing. Reggie. Oh, what's Hello. up? Hello. Hi. Why are you happy about us share misinformation? What? Why is there information? Misinformation. That's not good, baby. Then why did you go yay? Okay, I, I take it back. Not yay. I didn't know there was information going around. I literally said misinformation Shit. like five times. My bad. Dumbass. Oops. Told you you're stupid. I can't say it's not possible. But if one of us that was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Maybe they stuck up and control him in secret. I don't care how sneaky you are, we would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand, man. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, it wouldn't be entirely po impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Ding dong, bing bong, long. Hey guys, it's my new TV show. It's called Who Is Going to Be the Bitch? You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. So in the name of fairness, I'll unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want, solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> I'm very magnificent of him to unlock all the rooms. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. What? I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. At this point, I can rely on only myself. On the Togami blood flowing through my veins. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Well then. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. My master. He didn't take me with him. Do you blame him? With the master of rest of your life. Coffee with cream without the cream or coffee. Totally useless. So bye. <laughs> coffee without the cream. Yeah. That Toko trudged out of the dining hall. And now uh, she's gone. And you're gonna go out by yourself, right, Kyoko? That's right. It just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me, man. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna go by myself, too. Wait, how come? Just saying, see, 
I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity, dude. <laughs> Laughing loudly, Hero left the dining hall. Everyone really gonna go off by themselves. What about you, Hina? Hmm. I guess I'll do the same thing. I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? But up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depends on... Depends on Sakura and everyone else. That is true. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would've died. Dumb dumb. What? Dumb 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 was say that's true. You're well, useless. Well, I didn't say she was useless. Well, I just said that she was always depending on Sakura. Well, okay, sure, thank you. Mm -hmm. But it sounded that way. Oops. Oh, hello. Uh, that's really nice of you to say. But still, I thought I'd mostly be totally useless. So I figured out. At least here, at the end, maybe I can find something that will like, help us get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. Okay, see you later. You know, isn't that surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall? And once again, it's just us two. Indeed. Yeah, the couple moment. Me and couple moment. Because it's just me and honey you now. Yeah. So you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our research separate doesn't mean we can still work together. Yeah, it's like, you know, multiplying the uh, work efficiency, you know? But you come also with the goofy wording. Oh, that's my the one that was is it is like multiplying the work as if you see one at least. Yeah. Like Veggie, come on. No one says that. It's like, oh, we're gonna do our own work and then we're gonna combine it together. Like that. Yeah, that's what I meant. Totally. No, Edgy didn't want to say that. Edgy said, "Who is like doing this work? Then we multiply it by efficiency." <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Terrible. I misunderstood. I understand zero of that. What Edgy said. Oh, poor kitty, hun. No, you're poor. Uh -huh. uh, you're poor. Uh -huh. I don't want to be poor, though. But you are. Uh -huh. Sad, Edgy. Don't be sad, be happy. Okay, be happy. Good. That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I just see it as a splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, Yeah, that's, that's right. what I said. Well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Well, I could have said all the doors in this club be unlocked, right? So, we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in this school. So we can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Okay, look, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. Why are the necessary? Hmm, but that Kyoko was gone, leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the Mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove the Mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the Mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of this damn school. And then we can all escape together. Yeah. I guess I'll start by taking another look at Mukuro's Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed Mukuro Ikasaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So where should I start my, vest my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, the bio lab, and the door in the data center with Monokuma's face on it. Oh, and the second floor of the dorms where the gate was down before, that should be open now, right? After that, I'll have to double-check the areas that are connected to the murder. 
which means the garden and the dojo. Okay, time to get started. Places to check. I'm definitely going to be checking that next episode then. Anyways, yeah. I think that'll be it for today. That's a pretty oh, so a you, really good spot. You did it one. So we didn't want to do the trial. Oh, uh -huh. Kyoko's execution. Uh, we can do that next time. We can do oh, that. Oh, I gotta show you a bit. No, no, we should do it at the start of next episode, and then we can do the investigation. Oh, well, that's a very rude spot to start. Well, I mean, where else am I gonna fit it, though? Well. Yeah, TV. Anyways, everybody. Um, hold on, let me get my keyboard back out. Please, Veggie's so dumb. Oh, Veggie's dumb. Anyways, thank you for Are watching. Are you sitting? Hmm? Are you sitting? I'm sitting. He's laying, by the way. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No. Anyways, thank you everybody not for been watching. 20 minutes, Veggie Light. Aw. Make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and Twitch. To veggie. Yeah, to Veggie. And um, also make sure to check out Santa Bantan at Kofowo on Instagram. And we will see everybody in the next episode where we do the investigation. So, uh, bye. Yep. Bye.